Hey guys, what's up? This is not the end result of this video, but rather this is the end result of the full version of this video. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for checking this out. This is going to be like the short little half of just basically trying to explain how to use the converter and what to do and what not to do. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, what's up? Anyway, this is a short version of basically how to use the converter. I'm not going to cover a whole lot of things, just, uh, just basically how to use it. All right, so everything else you're gonna have to figure out on your own if you don't want to watch the full video but uh yeah so anyway this thing has to go into your drive c folder all right so uh open up your computer goes to your drive c it has to go into here all right so if you put it somewhere else it probably won't work actually it will not work all right if you put it somewhere else okay so what you want to do is uh, within the folder you uh, you have some stuff all right so you have a, a finished folder and a to be voted uh put the the ats that you want to be converted into into the uh to be voted folder and then once they're done they'll be put into the finished folder all right so for that i'm going to be using this guy's map just as, as an example i'm just going to run this real quick and just use one of his ats not all of them all right so once i get them which i, I already have it uh, downloaded so i'm just going to open it up here whatever so close this out close this out open up his mpq file go and grab his ADT just use one of them uh, it's this is not a very fast process but oh it uh, uh, it is what it is I, I did this just to basically uh, teach myself and try to uh, do some practice and what and, and, and whatever so I'm just going to just paste that uh, that in all right so it goes here put this into the to be uh, voted folder before you run that, make sure in your O&O uh, uh, settings, make sure that um, that you go to Tools, Options, and make sure that this says Display Empty Interface. If it says anything else, you're probably going to run into a lot of errors, and, and it's probably going to just not work right. All right, so after you do that, close it out. Make sure O&O is closed out when you run this. Another thing you want to check is make sure you can actually open up uh, O&O through, like, Command Prompt. All right, so you should be able to go to here, type in CMD, and type in O1O editor, and it should open it up. All right, if it doesn't open it up after doing that, then you will need to figure out why it's not doing that. All right, and, and that usually happens because you don't have a legal copy of, of, of the program, such as like a legal trial or or you have like a cracked copy, whatever. So if that's the case, you're gonna, you're gonna have to figure out how to make it work or and such. All right, so anyway, so once you have that done, all you gotta do is just run this. All right. When you first run it, it'll go into here and rename this and take off the extension. That's kind of required for this process. And uh, so what it'll, what it'll do is it'll make a root file, and then it'll make a text file, and then it'll make an OBJ file. Like that right there. All right, it made the root file, and then it, it, it took it away. All right, so F, uh, after it makes w uh, whatever files it, it, it has to for uh, whatever section that it's on, It'll take out the files and put it into the finished folder, all right. And then, and then it'll move on to the next one, which is text, which is basically textures. And then the next one after that will be uh, for uh, objects, all right. This is mainly for maps that were custom made, completely custom made. If they started as a Blizzard map, there's there's a slim chance there's there's a chance that it may not work, and there's a chance that it may work. So yeah, all right. And uh, yeah, so I left notes in, on on my forum threads, and I left notes within my YouTube description, and I left a link to the full video if you want to watch that. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, that's it. It's done. It's done with this particular ADT. Um, and there we go. So then I could just put that into a folder, or whatever, etc. But yeah. So anyway, that's pretty much how you you would use the uh, converter. And uh, yeah, so you just basically need a working version of O1O to use it. All right, see you later, bye-bye.